Hello, teachers. As you are aware, in the design of any kind of intervention, one thing that cannot be taken out has to do with assessment and subsequently grouping. In our current context, in the consideration of teaching at the right level, we seek to meet the learners at their learning level currently, not at the grade level. And so this afternoon we are here to do a demonstration of what needs to be done before the process begins. Assessment and grouping. Before we do this, we need to consider certain protocols. The first thing is that we have to ensure that there's quality lightning wherever the assessment is being conducted. You have to ensure that learners are comfortable, that they are not afraid, that they are ready for the, the work to be done. We have to make them aware that it's not about a test. The idea is that we want to play some games. And that is usual in our schools. There are teams in playing any game. We just want to put them in one of the teams. So the work that is supposed to be done is aimed at helping them and helping us to find out which team they should belong to. Number two, we talk about seating. Usually, we consider handedness. So learners who are right-handed, you are supposed to sit on their right-hand side. If the learner is left-handed, you do the same on the left. Come with me as we begin this process. Take a clean look at all that is done. As a professional, in the context of the conduct of assessment, you are not supposed to be emotional, as it were. So when learners are giving the answers, you do not indicate that they are right or wrong. Just stay focused until they are done. You have 10 minutes to do this. Usually, you should start with English, the language assessment tool, LAT, and then you proceed to the mathematics assessment tool. You have a total of 10 minutes to do this. So please make sure that if learners, for instance, are not moving on as expected, if they are not pointing to, they are not selecting questions, do so for them. As you know, we don't have all day. And time is of the essence. So come with me as we begin this process. I am Pastor Bernard Wahi. Thank you. Christabel Ousua. Yes, sir. Come over here. Good afternoon. How are you? Good. Before you sit down, put down your pencil and then sanitize your hands. Okay, sanitize. You may sit down. Christabel, I hope you are very well today. Good. Did your brother come to school today? Yes, Great. As you were told in the classroom, we are going to put you in teams so that you learn through games. But before we can tell the team that you belong to, you are going to do a very simple exercise for me. And that will tell me the team that you belong to. I hope you are ready. Yes, sir. Now, can you remove your nose mask? Thank you. Okay. Now, I want you to read this place for me. I hope you can see it. Yes. Good. Read. I am Sam the Big Monkey. I live on a big tree behind the school. I jump and swing on the tree. I like bananas, nuts, and fruits. Come, come. Be my friend. Read here also for me. 
There was a big tree which stood in the middle of a garden. Thank you, thank you, Christabel. At this point, we will go to the mathematics. Okay, you see these numbers here. Point to five of them and mention the number names for me. Any five over here? Nine, seven, four, six, eight. Okay, let's come here to. Point to any five and mention the number names. 89, 68, 12, 35, 70. Now, over here, you can see that we have addition and subtraction. Which one would you like to do first? Addition. Addition. Good. Addition. We have sums in the first column and then in the second column. Select any one that you like here. You want to start with this? Okay, I am going to give you a sheet of paper. Write it and do it for me. You said you want this. Okay, write it. Now, select another one from here, any of these, and do it. Okay, write it. Let's come to the subtraction. Select one from here and one from here and do it. Which one will you select? Okay, write it. Then select one from this column also. Which one will you want to select? Okay, write it. Thank you very much, Christabel. You may go. And when you go, call me Alexander Pepra. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Alexander Pepra. Yes, madam. Come. Welcome to my classroom today. How are you? I'm fine. Are you okay? Very good. I am very happy to have you. Kindly sit. Put your pencil down. Because of COVID, we want to demonstrate the protocols. Huh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Alex, you have done very well. Great. Okay, Alex, now you can remove your mask. Alex, welcome again to my classroom this morning. It is a time to play. I'm going to give you something to read and to do so that we can put ourselves into teams and play in the classroom. Are you okay? Good. We begin by reading English. Alex, begin from here. Okay, Alex, come down here. Which of the words can you mention? Okay, say it. Let's go to letters. Mention any five. Okay, Alex. Let's continue to do some mathematics. Good. Over here. Do you see the digits? Mention any five. Six. Four. Eight. Eight. Let's go to two digits. Twenty. Twenty-one. Okay, Alex. Thank you for coming by. I will see you later. Okay? Bye-bye. Yeah, you like I say, can can fall. Yes, sir. Yeah, please come. Hello, you're welcome. Hi. Take a seat. Thank All right. You. Okay, so please. Yes. Can you sanitize your hands. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, please take your mask off. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, so let me see. As you were told in the class, this is the time we are coming to do uh, what we said, so that we can be put into a team. All right? Okay. okay so let's start off. Uh, please kindly read this text for me. Okay. This is a monkey. He lives on a tree. His name is Tika. Tika likes to jump and swing. He likes bananas and nuts. Mm -hmm. I like Tika. He is my friend. Okay, so let's move to. This section, can you read the part as well? Once there was a, a tall tree which, which stood in the middle of a garden. Mm. It stood there alone for years. It was very sad and lonely. One day, a huge bird came to rest on that tree. In, in the beak of that bird was a fruit. The seeds of the fruit fell under the tree and the small plants grew there. Soon, many plants... Many more trees grew around the tall tree. They lived forever as a happy family. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, Nyame, uh, we are going to do some math. 